this woman, those of us from Cross River State, you will remember a woman by name Patience Ena. This woman was pregnant, but not really pregnant with a baby because her stomach was so big and so big to the point that you would think that she was about to deliver a full-blown baby. And so she attended one of the retreats we had. Our general superintendent will remember those years we used to have a retreat in Lagos and then the message is dubbed and relayed to us by means of the media. And so in one of those retreats, this woman came to that program. The stomach was so big, and therefore our Father, our Father and the Lord ministered that morning. It was a faith clinic. And after ministering, he prayed for those who had problems. And so after the prayer, I just, because this was something I saw, not somebody who told me. And so this woman, we started encouraging people to check themselves and that they will see what the Lord has done. And so this woman began to bleed. She began to bleed. And people thought that, actually people thought she was pregnant, so they rushed out to the welfare department in that retreat. And so our nurses and medical people tried to see how to make the blood to stop flowing. But the more they tried, the more the blood flowed. And so they started looking for vehicle to take her to hospital in town. And so while they were still looking for that vehicle, this woman came out of that welfare and just went a little bit into the nearby bush and squatted there because she was groaning like a woman that was about to give birth to a baby. But when she went there, she eventually delivered that tumor. It was a tumor. The tumor had tentacles. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Our pastor may have not heard this testimony. And so that woman eventually was delivered. The stomach went back normal and she stopped bleeding and everything was all right. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to tell you that the God that did that for her, because that tumor had woven itself into some vital organs in her body. So even if you wanted to operate her, then you have to kill her because you will cut off all the vital organs. But Jesus Christ, through a simple prayer of faith by the man of God, went inside without any surgical knife, operated on that woman, and extricated that deadly disease and brought it out and it was a perfect surgery. Tonight, God will perform a perfect surgery for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then, another testimony, some of the people who are listening and viewing might remember this woman, uh, sorry, a man now, a young man from the town of Idomi in Cross River State, the middle part of Cross River State. And this boy was paralyzed with polio. The hand was twisted like this. The legs were twisted. She had, he had two crutches. 
And even with the two crutches, the mother was still holding him because he couldn't move even with the crutches. And a pastor in one of the retreats again, this one happened in 1990. And we started encouraging people to exercise their faith. And so this boy drew his crutches. As he wanted to rise up, he took some steps, he fell. He rose up again, he took some steps, he fell. And he kept on trying and trying. And Jesus took him, stretched all the bones, the bones on the hands and the leg. And this boy was made perfectly okay. And when we had the retreat in 1991, this boy came and stood in front of the audience, perfect as if he had no problem before. That's what the power of God can do. And that minister of the gospel is right here with us. God will do that for you. The choir, please.